Hello, Wankos. What's up, Wankos? Damn, this is you're coming in hot, Gunther. You missed us. Did you uh, miss us? Uh, yeah, I couldn't wait because it was too long to see you guys, you know. So I couldn't wait to get. I mean, as, 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 as you saw, I started even early, you know. Yeah. How man? How much have you cried since we since you haven't seen us, Gunther? Missing us. Oh, uh, it, it's like a river of tears. A river of tears, you know. It's like it, it didn't stop. A river of tears. tears that's a good yeah. title for. That's a good title of a book um, or yeah. a memoir. Um, <laughs> An alternate title for your next yeah. book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, after I finish with you guys, I, yeah. I, I, after I'm done, you know, yeah. your media career. Yes, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Listen, we got a bunch of stuff that we need to cover today, right? There's a bunch yeah. of stuff that's, that's happening in the news and all this. But Gunter, we got to start here. Yeah. The Apple Dance, baby. Oh, <sighs> the Apple Dance. So what about you, it? Did you like well, it? Well, what about well, it? I mean, you, 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 you broke Brad the internet. Summer, dude. You're having a Brad Summer. <laughs> So walk us through exactly how you did the most internet numbers without us. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what you have to do next? Uh, just come along and dance with me. Just come along and dance with me. I mean, yeah, you're more than welcome, you know. So how these things happen in my house is my daughter, which uh, I think you, you met her. I, I think no. you know by now. No? You have, we have not we met, met her. No, no, she was not in Silverstone, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. Met, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, so so you didn't meet the, my daughter, you know. So uh, she comes up with these ideas, and as her father is a little bit mad, I was almost going to say stupid. I don't think I'm stupid. I'm a little bit mad, you know. I said, no, oh, let's do it, you know. And then we just started to dance, and that was it. It was pretty simple. It so took she- us 10, 15 minutes. How many takes? Uh, we had, I think, three or four takes, uh, maybe five, but not more. It's okay. just like, you know, and then I said, I'm done now. You know, I mean, it will never be perfect anyway. So, so, so let's stop it as long as you have got fun. Otherwise, uh, we are going to be pros here. It did look like you were having a lot. Like, Gunter, I don't think I've seen you smile like that since K-Mag got pole in Brazil, dude. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because it was fun, you know, because they, they, obviously at home, they don't think I can do this stuff, you know. So I proved right. them wrong. You know, it's like, father, you're old. It's, you're an old father. I'm old, yeah. But that doesn't make me, you know, a you're good dancer. Dead. Wait, so... No, I'm, not yet, anyway. So, yeah. so, so, so she didn't have to twist your arm at no. all? No, we, we get along pretty well, us two, you know. Okay. We, we, we like to do a little bit uh, stupid, crazy things, you know. At right. Home. Sure. Gunther, are, are you, do you identify as brat? I, I don't know where these things come from. She just said, let's try to do this one. You need to give me the background. I do not know the background of this dance, you know. Just, it's, it's, it's the song, it's the album of the summer, and it's a brat summer, and being a brat is just kind of being like, un, you know, unbothered, uh, unashamedly yourself, and being a little bit messy, and being in your face, and, and being brat. We're, they're taking back the word. All right, yeah, well, I think I i didn't even know what it means, you know, so I, I guess that answers your question. No? <laughs> it's like I haven't had much bratwurst this year, but yeah. uh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had some bratwurst when I was in Italy, you know, so in northern Italy, you get some yeah. bratwurst, you yeah. know, close that's, to Germany. Yeah, that's right. Well, that listen, you know, Matt, you Matt always comes in with the, uh, with the nicknames, but I got a nickname for you after seeing that. Gunti XCX. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that's on the heels of a of a of a similar style nickname that I came up for you. It's serving guns. <laughs> <laughs> Enough nicknames now, guys. Okay, okay, let's, okay, get okay let's go serious. Let's, let's get, get serious. Stuff. You know where are we start, uh, Gunter. Uh, uh, I think we are starting with uh, all this uh, break. Uh, Ideas, issues, people reading into, seeing ghosts, seeing, uh, you know, miracles happening and all that good stuff. So I think uh, it's a lot simpler. I think a lot of people is overthinking it. Uh, I, I guess it was clarified because I would say a team asked, can we do something like this? And the FIA decided, let's not do something like this. Let's clarify it in the rules, which is the normal process in Formula One. You know, if some engineer comes up with a great idea, uh, before doing it, because uh, there is not like, oh, I do it and then I ask for apology. Uh, that doesn't work anymore. You need to go there first and say, hey, I'm thinking about this. What do you think? Is this within the rules or not? And then the FIA comes back and says yes or no. 
Uh, and I guess they somebody went in there and said, can we have something like this? I think you guys remember, or maybe you don't remember, but you have read, because you read everything about Formula One, about mm-hmm. the McLaren with the two brake pedals, left and right, yes. you know? So this is similar to that one. It would be just an automated system or something uh, doing it itself. And they were using something like this. I think it was in the late 90s in touring cars where you had it by a pendulum, by G-force. You know, it was shifting the brake pressure left to right, uh, depending on the corner. And it works, obviously. It helps you to steer. It helps a lot. But in Formula One, it's obviously illegal. So that was clarified. I think... uh, That is the story behind uh, uh, the story here. Uh, But I don't know who it was or if it even was somebody, but it's not allowed to do. So so you so but a lot of people are saying, well, wait a minute. This rule was clarified right around the time that Max is like the car doesn't turn. His brakes are on fire that 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 there's some smoke there, that maybe there's a fire that that maybe this rule clarification took some toys away. From Red Bull, you don't see any. You think that that's all BS? Uh, I mean, you never can say 100% no, but I would not think that there was something in there. I think it was more like, like I said before, somebody came up with the idea and found out a way to do this and just asked, can I do this or not? And obviously you cannot. I I don't think, uh, uh, you know, the FIA wouldn't have waited this long or uh, it wouldn't have taken the FIA this long to find this out because they can see all the channels about uh, uh, of the telemetry and you can see if there is a different brake pressure left to right you can see that pretty clearly you know uh, on data so uh, I, I think to hide this would be very difficult very difficult so I, I again I disappoint you Matt, I know that when you have these looks, it's like, oh, I thought I got something here, but I didn't. <laughs> so you think it's all you think it's all above board that they did this? There, there wasn't a, that they implemented it, and then that they probably went to the FIA, and the FIA then clarified it in the rules. How much? Because you know, over the history of Formula One, there's been plenty of times where you know you find a little loophole, you find this is my way, and let hey, this is this is within the rules. Let them change the rules. If I found my way around it, that's their problem, not mine. Are you saying that that happens less now than it used to? Yeah, absolutely. That happens a lot less. If you find something, you normally go there because uh, 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 if not knowing doesn't mean you are right, you know. So uh, I think that's normally seen, you're wrong, why you didn't ask. That's already, if you didn't know, you can come and ask. And I think that's now uh, pretty clear that, you, that, that that is handled like this, especially mechanical things like this. I mean, error, sometimes you cannot see and something deflecting or something moving. It's like, oh, I didn't know about it. You can play a little bit. I wouldn't say ignorant, but you get away with a, a little bit more. But this is clearly, you could see this was intentionally done like this. You know, this was a system put in place to make this happen. And you had control over it. So normally what you, what you do there, you go to the FIA and ask for Clarification, it's called. So, so Not permission, think, so clarification. Think, so you think all this stuff, because people love to do this, right? You know, last year there was some regulation change and all of a sudden Aston, or some clarification and Aston Martin just plummets. You know, Aston Martin started the year last, they were the hot team. They were the McLaren that year that sort of comes out of nowhere and is on podiums. And then there's this clarification of the rules. I can't remember what it was. And then all of a sudden they're nowhere and people are like, oh, they got to call with their hand. The, the the um, because there's sort of this black box of you, you don't really know what's happening in those meetings. The correlation of of that rule clarification, and then the outcome, uh, and then what happens to Aston Martin, you assume, oh, they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar and they they got privately spanked, and now they're slow. That's sort of, so so you 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 think that that's just those things are more coincidental. <laughs> I think they're more coincidental, and there is not, uh, 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 like uh, Aston Martin going backwards, there is not one system in a car which, you know, you could uh, make, and uh, it's not back to the BR 
days uh, or, or to the uh, brown days when they had the double diffuser, you know, that uh, 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 it's, it's such a right. big one little thing making a difference of three or four tenths of a second is very unusual, except it is something really dramatic. But the FIA, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, well on top of what is happening. Yeah, there are clarifications, and for sure sometimes they don't help you, uh, you know, like uh, with, with, the, with the flexing front wings and stuff like this. But it's not like that, that all of a sudden you are you're half a second slower. Uh, that, that is more, uh, uh, that doesn't happen these days anymore, that somebody finds something magic in a car, because there is 10 teams looking for magic, and... If one finds it normally, the other one finds it as well. The magic. All right. You know, so, so you're so you're defending Red Bull here. Um, is there anybody? Is there anything you want to share with us about who's replacing Jonathan Wheatley as the sporting director of uh, Red Bull? Is there something you want to share with us? <laughs> no, uh, I'm not defending Red Bull here. I'm just clarifying to you. You know, I'm not defending okay. anybody. Right. I'm not. I just I'm know not that there's a pretty lawyer. big job up opening, no. and I just want to ask you no. if you know anything about that. No, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Jonathan is there still a, quite a while. I think uh, Jonathan okay. has got. I think he starts at Audi in 26 okay. if they don't find an agreement. That's a okay. long time out. Okay. Well, t- speaking of Red Bull, speaking of big jobs at Red Bull, there's a bunch of rumors flying around that Adrian Newey is heading to Aston Martin. Where, uh, this, this is coming out of left. No one expected this. Everyone was thinking it must be Ferrari. That seemed like the logical choice. But now this is flying around that maybe Aston Martin is where he's going to take his talents. What are your thoughts on this? Do you buy any of these rumors? What's going on there? I, I think I'm saying this since a few months. If he's going somewhere, he's going to Aston Martin. That was always my uh, thought behind that, you know. Uh, and uh, I, I can see that uh, there he has got what he needs, uh, uh, Adrian. You know, it's a structure which is still not fully developed, while the other teams like Mercedes and Ferrari have got well-developed technical structures and putting somebody like Adrian in it, uh, it wouldn't guarantee for immediate success. But uh, I, I think because Aston Martin is a much younger team than the other ones, he can make a lot more changes uh, which he wants and has got a lot more authority than in well-established teams like Mercedes of Ferrari and that's what I always thought if he's coming back to Formula 1 that would be the place he's going and uh, obviously uh, uh, Lawrence Stroll is investing uh, uh, lots of money you know shit loads of money and uh, uh, you know which, which uh, Adrian needs to do something I mean I, I know he needs to work under, under a budget cap but uh, he has got a lot of freedom there because it is not as a, a well-oiled machine like the other two teams uh, other two big teams so you think what scared him off wasn't necessarily moving to Maranello or the fact that, Mer- that, that Toto is the enemy. It's more the, that he doesn't like bureaucracies and all the red tape at, the, at those teams. <clears throat> no, uh, I, I think it's the complexity and uh, to change these big teams is, is difficult, you know, because their processes, they are so well developed and uh, Adrian is just like he comes in and wants it his way, you know, and to change this maybe takes also too long time and they, and they agreed on both sides. Maybe it was not only uh, Adrian's choice. Maybe the other two teams said obviously bringing Adrian in would not assure us uh, short term success. You know, so we, we, we stick what we have got because we believe in it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. While at Aston Martin, they are still building up. They are employing still people left, right and center. So uh, I, I think it's a much better place, uh, I guess, for him to go to. Mm. Do you think that's a, that was smart, maybe on the on the part of Ferrari, given their woes? I mean, you know, Mercedes has had more success in the last ten years than Ferrari has. They won that championship in '07, but it really hasn't been the same since the Schumacher era. Do they, you know, do you trust the red tape of Ferrari? Do you trust the systems in place there? I know Fred's a friend. I know that you, you know, friends with Mattia as well. People that 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 built that thing. But you know, when when we were we were discussing it, we're thinking like, do you just, yeah, you have your system, but what has your system brought you? And then you have an opportunity for a guy like Adrian Newey to come in and shake this whole thing up. Why do you not jump in that thing at that opportunity and give him what he needs? Uh, I mean, your thought process is is, is correct. You know, uh, uh, sometimes you need a big change to to, to to end up in a different place. But uh, I, I think Fred believes in what they are doing, and he sees uh, uh, in 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 short term making more progress with what he has got now than to bring somebody like Adrian in. And uh, uh, I wasn't part of uh, his discussions with Adrian, and maybe Adrian had some uh, uh, demands which Ferrari maybe uh, cannot supply or don't want to supply, and that for maybe didn't work out for the two of them. 
Right. Do you see? Do you see with if Adrian does go, if he goes to Aston Martin? How quickly do you think they're potentially players in this in this game? Do you think that it, there's a it's a you know three years, five years? How how easy or tough of a road do you think it will be for them? Uh, uh, I think there's good a uh, good opportunity with the new regulation 26. Otherwise, it would be more difficult because everybody starts at, starts from scratch. And uh, he, uh, he worked with Dan Fellows at uh, at uh, Red, Bull, Red Bull, so yeah. I think they've got yeah, so they know each other. So uh, I think they would know their roles each other uh, from each other as well. Uh, and uh, I think if he starts, uh, I, I wouldn't say imminent, but in the uh, uh, in, in in short term at Aston Martin, he can have a big impact for 26 because everybody starts from new, you know, and uh, everybody knows if Adrian is giving. Uh, uh, the task of uh, of a new regulation is pretty good at it, you know, uh, and for sure he has thought already about it, you know. So uh, I I think uh, obviously he, he would not have a big in, uh, impact anymore on 25, but 26 with the new rules, I think it, it, it could help us Martin a lot. Gunther, we know that this, the key to Ferrari's success is a short, impish French person, <laughs> and. An A tier driver, superstar driver, and a bald genius engineer. So they have the short, impish Frenchman. They have the A tier driver, but they don't got their Rory Byrne. Who is their Rory Byrne? Rory is still there, I think. I, I haven't seen Rory long. I think he still works there, actually. He really? I, <laughs> You're like, Rory I mean, Burns there, Rory Burns. Yeah, no, Rory Burns, I think, uh, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't go in every day in the office. He's no. not full-time. Come on. No, he's not, no, not full-time anymore. I mean, uh, no, if he's, if he's at all there, no. So, but, uh, okay, he's semi-retired, uh, according to uh, Wikipedia. So you know everything. You, well, you know, Wikipedia. Man, I don't know Wiki, everything. Wikipedia knows everything. You read everything. Okay, put it this way. But I'm very well. To, good there. But, I'll stop. I am very well read. That is true. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and I can see that. You know, it's like I have to be careful what I tell you. You know, <laughs> I need always to check what I say. You know, so uh, uh, back to but uh, uh, the 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 guy like Sarah, the name of the guy which starts from Mercedes. I don't know like to be honest. You know, so I have no idea how good he is or what he is. You know, but he will be starting soon. I think in October at Ferrari. So I think there you get your new Rory Byrne. Yeah, but Toto is not a short French guy, so it doesn't. It's not. It's not one to one. So, so, so uh, do not keep on picking on Fred. We, we want to have him on the show, and if you pick on him, he's not coming. You know, come on, uh, uh, be a little bit oh, Loke politically Sarah astute. Is starting, oh, Lok Sarah is starting at uh, Ferrari. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, yeah. I thought you were talking about Mercedes. Sorry. Oh, Lok Sarah is no. leaving Mercedes. Mercedes. That's right. yeah, 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 yeah. Leaving Mercedes, yeah. going to Ferrari. This, okay. We've already had Fred. Fred's a friend to, to all of us. We've had Fred on the show. We're gonna, he's going to have a great time. On Vanka Hours, I'm sure we'll have, you know, I, I just wanted to, 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 to get a little bit uh, on Matt's nerves. Of course. You know? So oh, of course. I have to, you know. you got Beat him to up. do yeah, it. Yeah, got to, otherwise he gets too mouthy, you know. <laughs> 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 Absolutely <laughs> correct. Thank God you're here, Gunther. Okay. To keep um, him in. Staying on, you know, we, we, okay, we discussed uh, uh, the, the Red Bull break balance. We've talked Adrian Newey. The other big news of this offseason – Checo Perez is still at Red Bull. Yeah. He's, he's still at, at Red Bull. Yeah. Staying at Red Bull. What are your he's hanging in there. there. He's hanging in there. Yeah. You know, good old Checo is hanging in there. How loose of a thread is he hanging in there by? Like how how thin <laughs> is that thread that he's hanging in there by? Because we we were all under the belief and the thought that he'd be out at the end of the summer break, at least being very likely. How how strong is that thread that he's hanging on by? I don't know, but uh, I don't. I don't think it can be uh, strong. Uh, I, I don't know the reason and uh, uh, why they kept him on. Uh, you know, there must be good reasons, and I think they want to give him another chance or something. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it's good, but how long it is, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I was just thinking maybe the next uh, point where they start to think again is after Mexico GP. So it's a, it's an obvious uh, timeline, or it's an obvious line in the sand there. I would say, you know. Uh, so, you know, if if he doesn't perform until, or if he doesn't do better until after until the uh, uh, Mexico GP, I think they will reconsider their position again after the Mexico GP. Okay, I have a question. Else. There's rumors like, oh, they want to wait till at least the Mexican GP. You know, the the F1 is leaning on them. Disney's leaning on them. Why is a team 
as a as Red Bull, the team entity, why do they care about ticket sales, the Disney documentary? Why do they care about any of that stuff? I, I, I do not believe in that one, that F, F1 is getting involved, who is driving where, because that, that would be clearly out of the authority of Formula One, you know. And, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we all know that uh, uh, FOM is a, a publicly traded company. They cannot influence other people's business. I mean, I'm, I'm very... I'm, and I know Stefano very well. He wouldn't get in to run other people's business. He's pr- pretty happy that uh, to run his business, which is running Formula One. But the teams need to make their decision. There is nothing like uh, 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 a rigging going on in that in, in that sense. I think uh, uh, them days are over. Yeah, so it's nonsense. This idea that like oh people people are just grasping at straws at why Checo but, is. Yeah, but, well, but people but, are trying but to make sense of it. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. People try, just try to say, why Why do they keep him? There must be a reason for it. And then people come up with the uh, weirdest uh, uh, theories about this. You know, it's <laughs> What's like, your uh, best theory? It doesn't have to be correct. There's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. I think they don't want to take... Uh, 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 I, I think they sat uh, uh, together and uh, realized that they were put under pressure to make a decision and said, we need to make our decision and not a public decision. This is not a public uh, uh, execution, let's put it this way, because everybody, mm-hmm. us included, you know, me included, said, oh, I don't think he's there anymore after, uh, after Spa. And I think right. they sat down and uh, they said, uh, let's... We decide. Le- yeah, we decide what is happening here, not the public opinion here, you know. It's one of these situations. And I said, okay, let's give him a few more races. We have no idea how many. I, maybe they even said, let's give him an, until the end of the year even if I do not think I believe this, because they still want to win the World Championship. That is, the, that is what they have to do. So I think they just said, let's try to do it again. Let's give him our support uh, uh, and try to do the best. I don't know if they made changes in their engineering staff or not, but uh, uh, let's try in a different way. But I have no idea. But uh, in the moment, I think they just wanted it to be their decision. So when they fire him, they go, we're firing him because we want to fire him, not because exactly. you wanted us to not fire Not because him. Matt and Brian wants to <laughs> yeah, exactly. fire him. And no, Gunter. Exactly. And Gunter. Gunter. Don't, I'm completely don't. out of it. <laughs> you, you, Gun- you look at you too. hiding behind your Power. American flag. Speaking <laughs> right. of America, Gunter, where yes. you live and I hope pay taxes. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I pay a lot of taxes, Matt. <laughs> Jesus. I, yeah. I know. I, I know some of some F one. Maybe you got a house in Monaco that you don't tell us about. Like I still lot. have to pay taxes in the US. I mean, uh, you, you know, it's, there's no escaping for me anymore since I'm a citizen. You know. Yeah. Oh, you're I a citizen. Congratulations. Yeah. So I want to. I'm wondering, are you happy with um, your tax dollars being used towards investigating um, Liberty Media? And their um, monopolistic Monopoly. behaviors towards <laughs> Andretti and the eleventh entry. Uh, uh, do you feel like that's a good use of your tax dollars? How do you feel? No, about that? it's not a good. It's not a good use of my tax dollar because uh, I, I think I know the outcome of it. You know, so uh, uh, it's like. But some, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, that for a law is in place. You know, if somebody goes there and. Uh, 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 I would I would say even it's nobody's good use of money to do that, you know, because if you want to enter a club, call it a club, a sport, uh, 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 whatever, mm-hmm. and you're not welcome, why would you force your way in? That is my opinion about it. You know, I wouldn't fight you. If you don't have me on your, on your podcast or on our podcast, if you don't want me, just tell me, you know, I'm not going to fight it, you know, because if we don't want to work together, how should it be successful? I, I don't see that normally, and, and this is Formula One. If you want to come to Formula One, you need to be welcome and uh, uh, and not force your way into something. Mm-hmm. You know, that's my opinion. And then uh, back to the tax dollar. I think it's uh, it's in the system that this is what you can do, and uh, 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 obviously they try to, uh, they try to do it, and uh, it's it's they 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 have got the full right to do that. You know, you think and you think Andretti is going to be able to get in. I, f- I think it will be difficult. I mean, uh, Liberty Media, they are no fools. They have for sure checked what is what is possible and what not. I mean, it's it's a huge company on, on Wall Street, you know, and uh, it's a public company. They're not and, bigger uh, than Uncle Sam. They're not bigger than Uncle Sam, but <laughs> Uncle Sam doesn't want to go racing. Uncle yeah. Sam doesn't want to go racing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uncle, Sam, they, they, uh, Uncle Sam has got bigger problems than going <laughs> Formula One racing, I think, in the moment, you know. So, uh, yeah. uh, you know, so the, uh, uh, I, I think it is uh, uh, a waste of money and time of a lot of people. Okay. 
that took you that 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 took you and uh, everything else away from you huh? you know yeah you just take the wind out of my sail yeah, exa- yeah, like exactly. your hobby Vroom. yeah <laughs> <laughs> So you thinking you're okay? So let's see. What 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 have you shot down so far? You shot down. <laughs> that, that, no, that you're the any, only one. That alive. there's no fire with this Red Bull thing. Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm the anti drama man. I'm the anti drama. Gunther, who killed Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there right now, huh? because it's. <laughs> We you're are getting too big for say, our shoes. You're yeah. probably going to say it was a lone gunman, like a boring person. Okay. They didn't know what to do, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you say you don't want drama, but Gunther. <laughs> He's distracting us, you know. <laughs> well, hold you know. on. Not really. Gunther, there, there's, you know, you're at, the, you're at the middle of a little bit of drama that's happening right now. <laughs> I'm some always former, in the middle of drama, you know. <laughs> some I, former I think. co-workers of yours have been throwing, a, you know, a few shots some shade. your way. Yeah. Throwing a little bit of shade. Ayo Komatsu was quoted as saying, the reason that Gene got frustrated over the years, for some reason, is an excuse like COVID, but last year there was no excuse, he said. There was always some excuse like, okay, this year we're not developing because we're just preparing for next year, for 2023, there's no excuse. Then what happened in 2023 is because we didn't fundamentally address the issues of 2019. That is because people being in denial, pointing the finger at certain things, and we were never working properly as a team. That was totally clear. Whoa. The genius Ayao Komatsu. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing he's throwing shots at you, Gunter. What do you got to say? What 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 are your thoughts on that? What do you yeah. Uh, I think if he uh, if he's going back to 2019, it was a different world, you know. So he doesn't really know what he's talking about there. I mean, last year I was always pretty clear. Last year the concept of the car was wrong, and it was admitted in June, you know, and and it was changed. And that for he should thank that one because that made it possible to have in 2024 uh, a good car at the beginning of the season, which he had nothing to do at all with it, you know. He had zero to do. It's all to do with the people which are now working very well, you know, also bringing upgrades. But, for example, in 22, there was no money to make upgrades. There was just no cash. I mean, we didn't have any money to, to do upgrades. And uh, uh, last year, there was no upgrades uh, because there was no performance found in the wind tunnel. If you don't find performance, no point to make upgrades and uh, trying to kid yourself, you know. It was better to focus on the next one. And uh, thanks God that was done last year. Otherwise, uh, he wouldn't score points sometimes because the last two races, I wouldn't say that they performed at what the car is capable of, you know. In Spa, I mean, that was quite, I mean, it was, I think, the slowest car. But for me, the amazing thing is now when you're out of this, you know, uh, working for a, team which is seven, eight, nine, you know, mm-hmm. actually nobody really cares about it. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's like we, we are speaking. No. How many times do we speak about Williams here? We've, More well, than we should, honestly, because yeah, because James they're Val- Carlos. Yeah. No, yes. because they're Carlos, but uh, uh, Sauber, how many times he spoke about Sauber? Yeah. Not, 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 not at once. Not, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so so it's, it's, we speak about us obviously because I work there and right. it's fine with me to talk about and to explain this, but this is like, uh, you know, this is things is, uh, uh, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, uh, let's wait a little bit until until this regulation is over, and then and then we can see how good everything is. And I wish right. every, everybody well. I have no uh, uh, axe to grind or anything, you know, against these people. But it's like they they try to, or yeah, Komatsu tries to be confrontational with me. I mean, you know, he should concentrate on his job, and uh, I, I'm not working there anymore. I cannot help him, buddy. You know, buddy, you're on your own now, you know. Well, Gunther, I have something. I, I, I'll back you to the hilt. Even if I O uh, next year they come out and they win and win the, a race, yeah, and the, win the no win the constructors championship. You know what I'm going to say? <laughs> yeah. Who hired a Yao? I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, you know, you who gave him an opportunity. Yeah. You, you're the genius a... that hired the genius. So there's no. Yeah, yeah. but but wait, it's uh, you have to be careful, Matt. I also need to teach a little bit of politics here because oh. if they end up last next year. Who is the idiot which hired the idiot, you know? No, then, I'll, then, I'll, then we're going to forget this conversation. Oh, okay, then, then, then you never said <laughs> that. Then, then, I, then, I, then, I, then I'd say Gunther had been carrying him all this time. Yeah, exactly. See, I, mean, I, was... I could do these gymnastics all day, Gunther. That's right. Okay, that for, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, 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 I mean, 
you need to be a, my, my political advisor here, you know? Where do I sign? Yeah. You know, I, I get the lawyer. Uh, uh, There's still I, I, time, Gunter. It's, 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 you still got a few months to It's never too late. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of late changes to the tickets here. We can we can add you <laughs> there's, to the yeah, ballot. There's been a ton of late late changes. So, <laughs> yeah. who's your uh, VP, Gunter? You're running for president. Who's your VP? I have no answer. I would take Matt. I mean, you know, at this point, I have to say Matt. You know, he needs to be my. <laughs> You're like VP. anyone I mean, could be with, vice president. No, Why no, no. Matt? With all the advice I got the last half an hour, you know, I mean, Jesus, I mean, you know, how can I say no to Matt? Yeah. Because he was right, actually. You know. Yeah. I admit, yeah. when somebody's smarter than me, I'm pretty happy. You know. Yeah. But I want the people around me which are smarter than me. There's quite a lot of them, you know. So. All right. So. We've we've talked about some. We've talked about. We've covered most of the news. Now this there's a bit. It's been this summer break. It's about to be over. But before we get into the to what's going to happen to the rest of the season, we need to hear your rock star and wanker of the summer break. Brought to you by Cash App. So who's your who who won this summer break and who lost it, Gunter? I, it's so difficult to say because you cannot have a person or a driver or somebody from a team because we haven't seen anything what they did good or wrong. You know, uh, 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 have you got some suggestions for me of of, of because. Aston Martin, if the rumors are true, mm-hmm. Gunther Signed. Steiner for the Brat Dance. That's right. The Red Flags podcast for having Nicole Piastri on the pod. <laughs> and Oscar's mother on the podcast. Uh, um, I when, think, when did when uh, James did Vowles that? has been in the media a lot? Yeah, yeah, but it's always himself. a lot. That's nothing new. That's nothing new. I mean, people. That's... But it paid off, right? It paid. It you know. This, Absolutely. It's this getting this, this getting bed, Carlos. He, fair yes. play to him. He, you know, he described it as a small nuclear bomb, or something like that. What did he say? <laughs> he described the Carlos signing as a nuclear bomb. He's basically. He's he loves to pat himself on the back. Yeah, back. Yeah. Who who is the rock star of the of the break? Who is the rock star of the bike? Well, I think, I mean, this can also include social media. This can include just vibes, in which case, Gunter, I think that you're up there. That no, 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 no. I can't. I can't the Apple dance myself. was pretty good. No, you have to decide that one. I cannot decide that one. I cannot. I mean, that, that, <laughs> to that's, me, that's, that's a little my, bit too much to of me, a, you know. I give you, you're my rock star of the winter, of, of the summer break, but, you know, you can have your own. All the people which were on holiday, they are all rock stars and They're could get away. Stars. Yeah, and could live could live without us, you know, for two weeks. What? Yeah. What about Checo though? Keeping the job? I I don't think he had anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> he kept the job in spite of him, himself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. Right. He's Who are the bankers? Who is the banker of the off season? I think I think we have to get the bankers of the off season is the people, which continue to say that the championship is decided after four races. Mm. And now after the summer break, because now it's a summer break, the championship is wide open. So all Gunther, y- why are you such an optimist? You think the driver's championship is still wide open? For sure the constructors is wide open. The, 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 well, the, yeah, the, the drivers is sure. open. The, okay. the, the, the drivers is not wide open. It's <laughs> open. There's, there's something in between, you know. <laughs> I learned from the best, you know. Between wide open to fuck smash my door. Yes. Somewhere in the middle middle. there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Vankas, not only does Cash App sponsor our favorite perfectly branded Formula One team, but they also make it easier for you to save money so you can do things that you love, like going to an F1 race, boobies. Listen, to be honest, we thought that Cash App is just a way to send people money, right? You just send people money. Hey, Cash App me. Okay, I got you. But actually, it's a faster and simpler way to bank. You can start saving with as little as $1 with no hidden fees, no minimum balance requirements, and no account fees. Minimum balance requirements is crazy. It's just like, let me live. And Cash App lets you do that. And we all know that overdraft fees make no sense. Why are you charging someone if they don't have any money? Plus, when you deposit $300 or more in paychecks, you can get up to $50 in free overdraft coverage. It pays to get paid on Cash App. So go download the app today. Now back to the show. Okay, well, let's talk about, let's talk about the rest of the season. Let's talk about what, is, what we can expect going forward. Um, right now, the constructor's standings... Obviously has Red Bull in first, McLaren in second, Ferrari in third, 
and Mercedes in fourth. Right now, where do you see that those top four at the end of the year? What what do you think the the the, the mix up there is? I would say uh, McLaren, Red Bull. Don't know between Mercedes and Ferrari. Your two they, bodies. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's nothing to do with bodies. I'm very impartial. And they give me shit about it when I say something bad about them, by the way. So just that you know, you know. So uh, 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 it's difficult to say because the Ferrari and Mercedes, they're a little bit up and down. And you never really know who is up and who is down, you know. But the other two, I think the constructors will see McLaren winning the championship, Red Bull finishing second, and then the other two will fight it out for third. Right now, it's looking. Right now, it's looking like Merce- I mean, Mercedes has all the momentum currently. They won two races in a row. Yeah, but they were not clear circumstances. They didn't win it on sheer speed, you know. They won. They won it on cleverness, everything. But it wasn't on sheer speed, you know. So sure. we need to or, or count that one as well, you know. So. But I guess the question is, uh, you know, now how how close these cars are. Is anyone really winning on sheer speed at this point? Because these cars seem to be within a few tenths of each other. And it seems like, you know, it, it, gone are necessarily the days of, oh, well, they just had the clear, fastest That's car. I mean, even car. a few times, McLaren's had the fastest car, but hasn't been able to make it happen through lack of clev- cleverness, through, through lack of strategy. So I think maybe is th- that's going to be a factor of, of, of the rest of the season going forward. Yeah, it will be a big factor. And, and, and as you said, McLaren could have made, or they could have almost been on top of the Constructors' Championship if they wouldn't have made small mistakes. They were not big mistakes, but one of the mistakes maybe was they didn't believe in them to be this good. And it's difficult to believe in yourself that all of a sudden you're faster than Red Bull on a consistent uh, uh, in a consistent way. Because also Red Bull was dominating for a while. And now, uh, you know, you are in this position, like McLaren is, oh, we actually can win every race and it, it needs to sink in and you need to work, I would say not different, but you just need to get used to it and to learn to win consistently. You know, that's also a, a, a craft you have to acquire and you can just acquire it by doing it more and more. They will be in a good position a few races. They will make a, a, a lot less mistakes than they did up to now. You think they're like the dogs that caught the fire truck a little bit? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they were a little bit. Surpri- they, they surprised themselves, and nobody wants to be arrogant because uh, 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 I mean, Andrea Stella is a very humble guy, uh, you know, and uh, he he's like, oh, I don't want to sound like now we we know what we have. He's not lacking confidence. It's just like he's very realistic, and he's in Formula One a long time, and he knows arrogance is the last thing they need in the moment. But sometimes you just need to believe in yourself. But it will take a little bit of time. I don't think. Uh, 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 Zach is missing the, the confidence. Oh, what do you guys think? <laughs> no, I think no. Zach is not lacking for confidence. No. It doesn't. But he's been. But he. But he has been around. He's missed a few races, a few key races. I think he maybe needs to get in there and and, and make his presence known. Also, he needs to get on Mank Hours and make him his yeah, presence we, known we, here we, as well. We, we, yeah, we need to get him on here. Yeah. Hey, hey, to um, give him some shit. <laughs> How many races did you miss as team principal? None. Zero. Zero. Not a single one. Wow. What are commitment. your thoughts? It's called commitment. It's called commitment. <laughs> <laughs> what you know, are your thoughts on when, when people miss races? Because Toto we, will miss you know, a race. Toto, I mean, when, when, when Mattia was running Ferrari, he missed a few races, and we flamed him for that. When Toto was, you know, when Toto's calling in, but he's not physically there, <laughs> we flamed him for that. What are your thoughts on when, when you know, the top dog <clears throat> isn't physically there every race? It's a very weird thing. Uh, I think that these companies are structured differently, but uh, I, I just know both of them, Mattia and Toto, don't feel at ease when they are not there. It's as much, almost as, you got even more pressure sitting at home and not being there. But it's like, I don't know, uh, they don't want to travel, or there, there was a reason why not to travel. Could could be uh, anything, you know, and I, I don't know that, but I just know that they are both sitting at home Anxious. They're not sitting at home, you know, just do, going about life like normally. They are sitting at home, anxious, waiting to to call. And if nobody's calling, 
they will be calling somebody and it's, it's, it's just one of these things because they are, they are both very well committed then on the Zach side of it Zach is, Zach is not a team principal right. Zach is the CEO of, of yeah. McLaren Racing so he has got a lot of uh, 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 plate yeah. spinning here you know with uh, IndyCar you know I mean they, they, they are hiring and firing and drivers like there is no tomorrow in IndyCar mm. McLaren so he's busy there to sort out all the uh, all, 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 all them issues so I, I think he feels pretty confident with uh, Andrea running the team on the weekend but I think it's a different position because Zach is, is doing a lot of things for McLaren you know so sometimes if they do things uh, in Formula E for example in the IndyCar he needs to show presence there as well otherwise uh, it's no point why would he be the CEO of motorsport and not the team principal that's why he didn't want to be the team principal no, definitely. I think it, I think it makes more sense for for Zach, Zach yeah. to not be there, given uh, you know the scope of what he has to uh, manage. But um, I still can't get over that uh, Io used he used COVID as an excuse. I'm like, you mean a once in a generation <laughs> pandemic? <laughs> hey, I mean, I, I, I think he's trying to uh, climb a window. You know, when you climb a window, you slip down again. You know, so it's like whatever. Whatever think it works, been it's just an excuse. Cold, it never happened. Want, what did that do to you when you? I, I want to just go back to that really quickly. Like, what, what what did that feel like to you when you stepped outside of the Haas bubble and you realized, like, oh my God, being eighth is not the center of the universe. What did that do to uh, you? Uh, it's and it took me some not some while. It took me a few months to realize actually how frustrating it is when you get up every morning and you know the best you can do is seventh, sixth, maybe on a, in a fantastic year, but you never can go for, uh, because it's not realistic to go for a podium, because if somebody comes up and says that uh, one of the, I'm not pointing now at us, one of the teams which now are from fifth down, you know, can go on the podium. I mean, yeah, there is always the miracle happens, like the miracle, the, the, the pole position of Kevin in, 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 in Brazil happened, you know, mm -hmm. right time, right place. But it's not something you can count on, you know, will happening. You always can, but what, what you can influence yourself. And after a while, it's like, how many more of my life I want to invest to become eight in Formula One? It's like... Jesus, I've done. I got got a few T-shirts already. Uh, but then, when you are in it, it's difficult to get away from it because you think that is the thing you need to do, you know. But when you're away uh, from it, it's like Jesus, I'm happy not to have to do this anymore, you know. Because it, it's just like, yeah, uh, yeah. What did you do? Oh, I finished seven to eight in Formula One. Yeah, after after the tenth times you did that one, it's like, yeah. Can you not do any better? No. But it's not my fault, you know. So uh, in the end, it's it's quite uh, f for me. It was like. Uh, very uh, taking a, a lot of weight off my shoulder and giving me freedom. I feel free, you know, mm -hmm. I can do what I'm in control now, you know. I, if I say something wrong to you guys, I can have responsibility for it, you know. If, 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 if I cannot do better than what we did at Haas, it's not that because of me. I mean, but I'm part of it as well, obviously, but it's yeah. not the main reason. It's not one person. It's, it's, the, it's a system. Yeah, Gunter, do you ever see a world where that system is not the way that it is because, you know, it, it, it's part of, it's just been considered a given as we've, you know, entered our minds into this world, which is not what it is in other leagues and other professional you get draft picks. You get draft picks. You get these ways of kind of balancing the scale, you know, like, uh, you know, the Patriots were, no one cared about the Patriots. The Patriots were terrible for years. And then they draft Tom Brady, they have Bill Belichick, and then all of a sudden they run, they go on this reign of dominance. Now they're back at the bottom. The Minnesota Timberwolves, no one cared. They were horrible forever. And now they're like championship contenders. You know, this, this, in other sports leagues, there is a chance for a team that's at the bottom to eventually do some things right, have a little bit of help, and make their way to the top. Do you, I, you know, it's, it's, it's a different thing, but, but it, it involves a little more socialism. How, yeah, how would, uh, how would that happen? Do you see that as at all being possible ever? Uh, yes, uh, I see it possible, and, and the step was made, uh, were made with the budget cup, uh, or, or the socialism is there with the, uh, uh, Aero restriction, you know that the, the the teams which are further behind have more uh, wind tunnel time, so it is there. But it will uh, it will take a little bit of time to get it even closer. It's getting but it's very close. If you go j just back five years, you know the distance between 
B1 and B20 was two, more than two seconds. Now it's a second. It will go down. It will take some time. But I, I, I think in, I, I'm talking now and some of the teams make big investments. I mean, uh, uh, you know, we spoke about Williams. They got Carlos Sainz. They make a lot of investments. They, 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 they employed a lot of people. But it will take, take time. And hopefully for them, they do a good job and they get there. You know, uh, 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 Visa Cash Up. They made big investments. They moved half the team to the UK to be closer with Red Bull so they can work better together, always under the FIA regulation to be, keep it clean. They, they, they see what they're doing. They make investments in where you need to make investments that the budget cap works for you. A lot of teams are doing this. I mean, Audi will come in. Audi uh, 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 is investing a lot. So I think it is possible. But, uh, uh, you know, when I was there, I, I didn't see that happen. So therefore, I'm pretty happy that I'm not there anymore. I'm very Good. happy. Not pretty. Gunther, we had a, we had a, we were formulating an idea in, in in terms of draft picks, the the equivalent of draft picks. I think wind tunnel time is good, but I think money would be better. So I think, what would you think if like the team that finishes last gets the biggest budget cap, and like the team that finishes first gets to spend ten million less, eight million less, seven? You know, it goes down and down and down, and and you and you restrict you 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 hurt the budget cap for the next year. Uh, I think the, the issue there is that the, that the smaller teams are not at the budget cap yet because they're oh, still yeah. not profitable, you know. That, I think, is the issue there. Otherwise, th th that could work as well to give it a little bit of uh, a balance, you know, like the, uh, like, the, like the draft picks, you know. So, but in the moment, that doesn't work because uh, the, the smaller teams, if they get to the budget cap, they are struggling to get there. But for sure, they, have no, they, they don't have 20 or 30 million more to just put into development. Williams is not at the budget cap? I, I think they are close to, but uh, I don't think they are at the, uh, at the money the big teams are spending. Like Because obviously you know that some of the uh, uh, money spent is outside of the budget cap. Right. They are not there yeah, with yeah. the driver cost and, and some of the people cost, the, right. the, 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 the fringe benefits and the bonuses and stuff like this. So I, I think in the operational budget for the car, they are there. And if they are not there, they are very close to it. Right. Speaking but I guess a part of our thought there would be that if if that twenty thirty million that you could spend is twenty thirty million that these other teams are not spending, maybe it incentivizes you to find that sponsor and and that that twenty thirty million goes further than it does currently to just meet the budget cap. Whereas if you know Red Bull or McLaren or Ferrari that they're all of a sudden at this downward, you know they have this lower ceiling to hit, then maybe it could. Uh, you know, have a bigger impact there. Yeah, no, no, it could. It, it, it is a good idea, but uh, obviously, uh, uh, convincing the big teams to spend less is very difficult yeah, because you always because the, uh, to spend less, the, the biggest cost is the people. So yeah. all, all of a sudden, oh, I need hundred people less. What do I do with them? You cannot right. let them go. I mean, you know, uh, and that wouldn't be fair to people as well. So it, it's it's uh, you know, it's a good idea, but practical to to make it happen mm -hmm. very difficult. Yeah. Try again, Matt. Next idea. Fuck. You will get there, man. <laughs> Just keep on thinking. You will get there. Well, well, when I, will I not do have a good you. idea, when I do have a good idea, you must bring it to Stefano Absolutely. and tell him it was my idea so we can get hired. Yeah, to, yeah. To, you get to a seat on the board. Not, not run. Not no, run. Seat on the board. Run. Seat on the yeah. board. Seat on the board. Exactly. The, the, that's that's right. the most precious people. Seat on the board, you know. Right. right. Speaking of a treadmill of, like, mediocrity, being on that <laughs> treadmill. Yeah. Where are we? What is what is Alpine doing at this point? What do you think the game plan is? Mm. They've offloaded their they're offloading their engine program. We hear um, they're bringing on this guy, Ollie Oaks at high tech. Some people think that high tech might be buying in, that that might be the play. Conspiracy theories again. You're con you're the conspirator. I, I don't know what you uh, conspiracy. Yeah, this you're is, so this is, pod this is podcast. Yeah, Podcast. Exactly. That's what they're b built for. If Big they fun. were, if we were, if we were doing not conspiracy theories, we'd be on Sky Sports. But we're on the <laughs> internet. This is what. The, this is the point of this. Pl these platforms. Yeah. Yeah. We would be boring. So yeah. anti-conspiracy, right. he can't even pronounce the word. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I cannot even get it to the word. You know. Yes. I'm, because um, everything is black or white. You know. Yes. There's nothing in between. You know. So. Um, uh, uh, so you don't. So what do you think the plan is? With they got they got Flavi, they got Flavor Flav, up in <laughs> up in. Uh, That's right. Uh, up at Renault, they they fired um, what's his face, Pixar looking guy, and yeah, they've offloaded Bruno, their engine. Bruno, yeah. pro 
they, they have offloaded. It doesn't matter what his name is. He's gone. They, <laughs> they, they offloaded their engine program. They brought in Ollie Oaks. What do you think the plan is? What is the plan? What are they telegraphing here? Uh, I, I think a complete re restructure. I, I, I think they realized they tried. I mean, they changed, I don't know how many team principles over the last three or four years. You know, that doesn't work. So uh, uh, I, I, I think Luca De Meyer, which is CEO of Renault and uh, uh, also of Alpine, uh, uh, he just brought Flavio in as an advisor and asked Flavio, what would you be doing? Uh, uh, you have done it. You have, you have won world championships. You have... Uh, 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 you know, you've got loads of experience. What would you do it? And Flavio came up, close the engine program down. Uh, you know, okay, that is what we are doing. Uh, get a new team principal in, which I think will be reporting uh, to Flavio, because Flavio is not going into the office uh, 12 hours a day anymore. You know, he's at that stage in his career that he doesn't need to do that. So he has got somebody there which represents him. And uh, uh, I, I, I worked with Oli Oaks when, when I worked with Mazepin because uh, uh, he was uh, very close to him. You know, Mazepin owned, the, the father Mazepin owned high tech at the time where Oli Oaks was the uh, uh, team principal. So, mm -hmm. you know, there the, 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 the conspiracy theory comes from that uh, behind all this is Mazepin, you know. Yes. So, yeah. So, uh, what do you, what, uh, yes. So uh, do, are we going to see Mazepin back on the grid, you think? Uh, I do not think so, but uh, who I am to say that? No, I don't think so, honestly. I'm joking aside. I don't think that Mazepin is coming back here. Uh, uh, I, I think they still don't know who they put in in the second seat. Uh, 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 with, uh, they tried to get Carlos. Uh, I mean, that is also very clear, and Carlos didn't want to go there. So now uh, I, I don't know what, what, what their plan is. It's high tech, Mazepin owned team. That seat is conspicuously open. That seat is conspicuously open. So, so, I mean, there's, there's but, 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 but you're not you're not saying yeah, Mazepin is coming back. Why are you not doing that? What do you mean? Why am I not doing that? Because, why are you not because excited you're, about you're, it? Why are you not you're, excited about because it? Because you're pouring. Because you're pouring. A, you're pouring water <laughs> on my excitement. Every time I get excited about something, you just run. You, okay. you just run with a bucket of water and you you, you pour it Extinguish on me. Extinguish you, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, also. And because I mean, it would be unfair to the rest of the field because he'll just dominate. So that's <laughs> unfair. Believe it or so not. We move I on want, to the next I'm subject. I, I, you like know. That the, I like that everything's close right now. And if he was yeah. back and all of a sudden it wouldn't be – we wouldn't have a close championship. He was a, a he's a – you know what? He's a great driver and you just never gave him the – the fucking it's same all my chassis. Fault. As, as, you never gave him the same chassis, Gunther. <laughs> it's all my fault. It's I mean, all you know, your I mean, fault. And all you do is make freaking make, excuses. Just give the <laughs> if you'd given the guy the same chassis, he'd be a world driver's champion by now. All right. Did you ever swap? Always, him? always playing Did you ever favorites swap with Mick. Always playing favorites with Mick Schumacher. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah, I, I can see how that is working out for me. Huh? <laughs> you all can see it. Yeah. Can you imagine if I wouldn't have given him favors? How it would work out? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get into some fan questions. Um, this is from C. Talbot. What's a responsibility of a team principal that people do not know about? Um, What's a secret part of the job that people overlook? There's no secret. <laughs> no, a team principal, I mean, to explain a little bit, a team principal is, uh, uh, there's nothing which is, uh, which is like a CEO running a company, you know, it's right. like nothing else. There is nothing, I mean, uh, I, I don't know what people don't know because a lot of people think the team principal just goes to races and goes racing and then he goes home and does nothing for the, for the time he's at home. That's completely untrue. You know, this team principal is, is responsible for the whole, uh, for the whole machine, you know, the, uh, uh, to move everything forward, you know, what? technically, ma marketing, uh, sponsorship, everything. What's the worst? Least glamorous, like, I can't believe I'm the CEO of a Formula One team and I got to do this shit. Yeah, but, but when you have to deal with uh, finance issues, you know, it's like, mm. I want to go racing I I in reality. And then you have to deal with all that stuff as well. You know, that is quite, I mean, it it's just like you need to get it down. This is part of my job. Otherwise, uh, w you wouldn't be doing it. Because it's, right. it's, you know, no, no CEO likes to deal with that. On a much okay. smaller scale, we have felt this with this podcast. We've been like, we did this to just like have fun and talk on a, on a microphone. And then our whole week is spent like in meetings and yeah. looking at like Excel spreadsheets 
and doing all this stuff. How, like yeah, how do we make it work? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. How do <laughs> yeah. we get what to the next paycheck? Yeah. Fun, yeah. What yeah. happened to the fun part of the job? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But you're having fun with me, I, I hope. Of course, anyway. this, is the best, this, is, these are, this is the best hour of our week. Yeah, oh, this, is, yeah. this is the fun part. This is the this race is the weekend. Be honest. Yeah. Going we are. This is the best part of my week, year, and life. Okay, this is, Jack, this is from Jack Ross. One, what's the best race of the season so far? What's your favorite race of 2024? Which was the best race? Um, um, it wasn't Monte Carlo, just to say that one. <laughs> but Charles Leclerc broke the curse. Yeah, I don't really care about that. What was the best race? We were uh, saying Hungary. Race. We were saying Hungary. We were saying hungry with all the t- with all drama. the like Lando Oscar back and forth drama, but that's because we're little, you know. No, that one before, but, but, but when when Lando and uh, Max got into it, Austria, oh, Austria, Austria? yeah, I, I quite like that one. Yeah, Ooh, I think yeah, that was that was a lot of fire. You, you, you know? like you like drama oh. too? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah controversy. Yeah, that is what <laughs> you live for, you know. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. Even though, even though, did you were you did you think Max moved under breaking, or did you think that Max did something wrong? I forgot. He always he always moves under breaking, you know. But but it, it, it's like it, it's part know, of it, you know. I remember it's part you of said it, it was you know? both of their fault. You had some yeah yeah yeah, but it's both of their fault. Answer. Yeah. No, I I had that answer. It they both did wrong. Both could have avoided it, but they didn't want to because nobody wanted to finish second. You know. So instead, they finished fifth and not at all. Exactly. Um, not exactly. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this is from Samantha Wolf. The Olympics just happened. What Olympic event would you compete in if you had to? Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Break <laughs> dance? Wait, wait, hold on. Break dance. Break dance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You like to... I can do as good as the Australian uh, uh, lady did, you know. I mean, I'm as good as that. Break dancing it is. I mean, that did not... That, did, you I mean, play, did you play any sports as a kid? I played ice hockey, but oh, that's not really? some that's not summer Olympics, Matt. So you know, you played ice hockey in yeah. Italy. Yeah, what position? Northern Italy. Yeah, goalie. Goalie. That you know what that that, that works. You yeah. do have you've got the. You got I the, can see you covering but, a goal. In the net. But but <laughs> uh, last year, yeah, last year uh, the the Montreal Canadiens. I went on the ice with them after thirty years not being on the ice as a goalie. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was last year. It was my coolest event. I went to, you know, mm-hmm. and and the and the and the goalie from the Canadian team was there. They gave me the old equipment and they gave me a present, a helmet which is cool. Uh, uh, next time I show it to you guys, I need to okay. find it. Yeah, wait, it's, did they it's get the some shots thing on ever. you? They get some shots. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you is save? Video? Is there some video? Of is this? there some footage of you getting some saves? Uh, the, the, for sure, that for sure you will find something. You two guys find something on on on, on, on the internet about that. Yeah, Gunther, it was I want to you know? see you making a stick save against. But you know what the problem is when you get old, uh, you cannot go down anymore. You can go down, but you cannot get up anymore. <laughs> so you need to save them with, with, with your hands and. They said okay. I was still pretty good with that, you know. So. Oh wow! Okay, wait. I'm yeah. seeing this. I, I've got the video here. Hold and on. You're impressed, though. Wait. wait. Okay. Wait. Let's. Okay. 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 Here we are. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna. We're gonna react to this as a family. <laughs> you know, he's so excited now. Okay. Oh hell yeah! Oh, they got you. They. That's like. Oh yeah. It's all too nice. Yeah. yeah it's all too nice. You know. Why did you uh, Why did you end up being a goalie? I don't I'll know, tell I'll you why. Like, it's the same uh, with me. You were lazy. You'll see me skate no. today. No. <laughs> you were lazy. You know, you didn't want to run, you know. No, you'll see me Going skate today. Lazy. I can't turn right, so that's why I decided to play goalie. Not a very good skater. And you're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go first. I'm like, oh, I know what that guy feels like. Yeah. <laughs> get, Look at this helmet. He gets the same treatment oh, that as, is as so we cool. get. First. They yeah. gave that to you? Yuppie goes yeah. first. Go first. All right, let's see. Let's see how he does. Oh! oh! That's good goaltending. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. oh! oh, my God. Oh, did the mascot score on you, Gunther? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the basket is a good player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're too enjoying yourself here, huh? Oh, there we go. I'm not the same. 
Wow. Wow. You're impressed now, huh? I am impressed. Yeah, you blocked that. You, you technically blocked that one by just holding your hand exactly where it was in that one moment. <laughs> you can try to do that anytime I go on the ice with you, you know. We got we to gotta get on the ice together. Yeah, yeah. Are you playing Maybe. ice hockey? No, you don't. I played when I was like a little little kid, and I but yeah. I, was, I I won Defensive Player of the Year because I was uh, I would just hang back with the goalie. Okay. I played I played roller hockey. That's it. But I wasn't very good. Um, yeah, roller hockey is not really hockey, you know. I mean, <laughs> maybe. Well, not all of us can get to a. Not all of us live in a frozen in the mountain. mountains. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Not, Who was your favorite hockey player growing up? Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Oh yeah. You Growing don't know up. who is. Growing up. No, yeah. I'm just saying he Yeah, he, he was You weren't a kid when he was Yeah. How you're about to, Oh, I guess you were in a he's about the same age as you, probably. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Wayne Gretzky. Nice. Yeah. He's I saw him break me, Gordy Howe's record when I was like I don't know, eight or nine. Something like that. What are your where do your allegiances lie in the hockey world? Do you have a team? Yeah, my uh, it's, it's not my hometown. It's the town. Uh, it's the town beside me, you know. But otherwise, here in the states, is the Montreal Canadiens. Right. I don't know enough about hockey to really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can see that because otherwise, I would have two thousand questions. What's your favorite you know? Mighty Ducks movie? How about that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you like Slapshot? I love Slapshot. Yeah. I, I didn't the see Paul that. Newman movie. Oh, no, you got to see, see that. Oh, yeah. You got to see Slapshot. They're the Haas <laughs> of of hockey teams. That's right. It's it's Paul Newman. All they do is fight and drink and get in trouble. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a ragtag group of guys. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nothing there. <laughs> All right. Back to Formula One. Zanfort's coming up. Still. What? Still. Um, what do we need to know about Zanfort? And what are your predictions as to what's going to happen in that race? What do we need to know? Zanfort is... Uh if you, again, you are young people, so you know Sanford oh. always what it was. Sanford in the good old days was a very, uh, it's a historical track, you know, very cool place on the beaches, you know. It's a, you can walk to the beach from the racetrack. It is about a five minute walk, and you're on the beach, you're in the dunes, and then on the beach. So, very particular location where it is. Uh, uh, I mean, they have got that bank turn in there now, which is also cool for the for the cars. So at right. least they put they put that one in. They they did a lot of investment in it, and uh, uh, it's uh, you know the Orange Army is out there. Uh, all all the Dutch people, uh, a lot of Dutch people go there because it's their home Grand Prix. So it's quite obvious a lot of Max fans. But no, it, it, it's it's a good race, you know. And when he came back to the calendar, there was a lot of. I wouldn't say criticism, but doubt about it because it's it's an old track. It's very small. It's very narrow, you know. But they did a good job of revamping it uh, and putting that bank corner in. Uh, so at least you get so, so you can overtake a little bit there. But uh, mm-hmm. otherwise, it, it came back very very strong, and it's always a lot of things going on. I think in Europe, it's the race with the with the biggest entertainment factor around the race more than anybody else is doing. Right. It feels like a festival. Exactly. It's a festival, you know. It's like, yeah, they, they, they put a lot of effort in, you know. Do the, uh, do the teams in the week leading up to it, do people go and jump in the ocean? Is that like a, uh activity? No. No. no uh, it's too far away, you know. It's five minutes walk. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if anybody going, uh, having gone swimming there. So, but it could be. Okay. I mean, Brian, I don't know. You know they don't work. invite me anyway, Is you know. Is it the after most work. intense track to be on from like an atmosphere standpoint? Oh, yeah, it is very intense and it's also logistically it's very intense because the walk from the paddock area to the garages is quite long, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's just a, a very old truck and not, uh, when they made it, it wa- nobody thought that Formula One will be this big, you know, so yeah. it is a little bit also logistically challenging, but it's, uh, it's, it's a very good vibe is there, a very good vibe. As we all know, Gunter is all about the vibes. Yeah, the vibes, yeah. yeah. The dancing. <laughs> <laughs> The vibes are strong, and the vibes are brat, and this yes. has been... We're back on. The yes. season's back. We couldn't be more excited. Venka Hours coming to you every Thursday after a race. This is one of our special non-race week episodes. Yeah. Subscribe. It's its own show. It's, it's Venka Hours, part of the Red Flags podcast network, but it's its own thing. 
And uh, yeah, until next time, Vankers. See you next time, Wankers. Goodbye, Vankers. Yeah.